after that. Okay, uh, just really proud of these guys, the whole team, uh, for the for the toughness that was shown in the last three minutes. In fact, the whole game, but especially in that last three minutes, we were down at the last media timeout. These guys, everybody in the huddle, they were going to do whatever it took to try to find a way to win, and uh, couldn't be prouder of uh, of all of them, the whole group, for uh, for finding a way. Questions for Chris and Devo. That was just um, two guards that basically do everything tonight. Mm -hmm. Before the game starts, what are you thinking as it, as it goes on? Uh, I'm just thinking, you know, we're about to get ready to play 40 minutes. You know what I'm saying? But um, it was a challenge, you know. That's, that was my real thoughts. It's a challenge, and I was ready, you know, to step up to the challenge. I was telling Jack, uh, you know, the other guard, that this is what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no running from it. And, uh, you know, tonight we stepped up to that challenge, and I think a lot of other guys stepped up too, you know what I'm saying, and made big plays and came through for us. But, um, you know, at, at the end of the day, it was a challenge that, you know, that we came, that we came over. Um, <clears throat> shots were falling, especially for uh, Derek Early. Um, second half, I think you missed like your first 10 threes. Was mm -hmm. fatigue a bit of a factor at that point? Yeah, when I go for like four, well, you made 13. the last one. Yeah, yeah uh, I ain't gonna lie, like some of it was fatigue, you know. Some of them was a little too deep, a little short. I mean, I knew I had to get them up though, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, we, we got Jimmy out, that's 15 points. Brew was out, that's 10 points. So, you know, we knew we had to get them up, and I was trying to take good shots, but a lot of them was fatigue. But, I was glad I was able to make, you know, the ones that I needed to. Did you catch a bit of the second wind there at the end? Yeah, I did. I think when we got turned up and started going, you know, I just I put it put it out of my head and just started hooping, you know. And uh, crowd was great too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, when we needed energy late, I mean, unbelievable. Everybody, great, great job. So you just keep your shooting mentality. You know, four for thirteen, which you probably hit the biggest three. Yeah, you know, every time I shoot, I'm, I'm shooting to make it. Uh, I don't worry if I miss the last three, you know what I'm saying, or if it was by air ball one, you know, next shot, you know, and everybody is telling me the same thing. So it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of shout out, you know, to my coaches and my teammates just for telling me to keep shooting no matter what, and that's what I do, and that's what I stick to. Chris, can you take us through the position that ended with your, your dunk and, and what you saw on, on Derek's pass that was almost stolen and kind of gave that lane? Uh. I just saw opening. Uh, we had a, a play drawn up, and uh, I just saw something that was that was there, like that coach drew up. And uh, I just had to be strong with the ball when uh, they tried to steal it. Finish at the rim. Chris, you 34 minutes tonight. I mean, that's a lot for you. How about for you? Is fatigue type of thing? Did you get tired out there a little bit? No, nah, not really. Wasn't too tired. Just uh, had that little cramping problem, but. Just got to drink a little bit more water. That's all. <laughs> what was it like out there being in a close game that whole way and playing such a, I mean, a huge continuous role? Uh, it feels good. It's it's not anything I've never seen before. So it just it feels good to actually be out there, play. Aside from a sheer minutes increase, can you, can you speak at all to things that you guys are trying to do uh, offensively with, with so many top scorers out tonight? Uh, we were just. We stuck to our, our normal game plan as if we had everyone. Just a couple couple guys had to take more shots. That was all. Not, uh, nothing really changed. Just stick to doing what we do, play Kent State basketball. Was there much said about the situation before the game? Did you guys talk much about it? Or is it just like, okay, this is what we got. Let's go play. Um, no, you know, uh, it's a little phrase. One monkey don't stop the show. You know what I'm saying? So we had to just gear up with whoever we had and, you know, Focus on the game plan and uh, get ready to go to war with the guys we had. You know, it wasn't much talking about who we didn't. You know, we had to focus on Miami, and mm -hmm. that's what we did. How big a win is this for you guys? How you feeling right now? Uh, it's a it's an incredible win. You know, because we just came off of two two losses. One we should have won, without a doubt. But a um, little bit of a confidence booster, I think. You know, for guys to just get themselves going, keep playing good, and um, you know, it just feels good. Feel good to win. Uh, it was a good win. Is there a sense of urgency <coughs> right now with four? Well, entering tonight, four now three teams tied for, for the MAC race, and some things are popping up now with Aaron, Jimmy. What not? Is there a sense of urgency for you guys? Uh, most definitely, just because the season is winding down, and uh, regardless of what happens off the court, we still got to play them games. 
So I don't, I don't think uh, we're going to be too rattled by it. By, uh, if anything, it's just more fuel to the fire for us. <clears throat> we've, uh, we've been looked down upon the whole season. We're just going to keep fighting. Nothing won't stop us. Anything else for Chris or Dad? All right. Stay off your feet. All right. Good. I'll see you tomorrow, 5 o'clock. Questions for Coach? Yeah, I mean, listen, the the way these guys competed down the stretches, I, I mean, it's, how can you not be incredibly proud of this group for what they did? I mean, we're down. Uh, if you look at the bench, I think there's more guys that weren't in uniform than guys that were in uniform, including, you know, a four-year uh, player that's, I don't know, he just scored his thousandth point last game. And, uh, and the, in my opinion, the best player in the league. So, you know, you're missing those two guys. We have two perimeter players on the roster because Kellen's hurt and he's out. So we got two guards on the roster, period. And, uh, and then you're down six with two minutes to go uh, to find a way to win. What, what, what do you say? I mean, couldn't be more proud of these guys and uh, how they competed and the toughness that they showed and uh, – the togetherness, I mean, just the whole deal. You know, as a coach, that's, you know, this this is, this is probably, uh, you know, I can't really think that much. But right now, if I, when I'm thinking as I'm walking over here, to me, this is the best win of the four years that I've been here, uh, just because of the circumstances. And then where we are, I mean, if they score one point down the stretch, we lose. Uh, you know, just unbelievable. There was a four or five minute stretch uh, from like 10.30 to 5.30 yeah. in the second half. Yeah, struggled to score, struggles. right? And then final five minutes, of course, things kind of turned around. Do you attribute that to anything in particular? No, no. Shots yeah, you know, I mean, and, and uh, when we missed, we got a couple offensive rebounds there. I mean, uh, you know, over the flow of a game, over the course of a game, sometimes you're going to miss a bunch in a row. I, I don't know, maybe their defense had something to do with it, maybe. You know, again, Dev and D-Jack, they might have gotten a little bit tired. Um, but you know what? At the end of the day, they, they found a way. You know, last play, second to last play, Chris Ortiz drives baseline, kicks it to Dev for a three. Uh, something that, again, he, he came here as a four-man. You know, we work on perimeter stuff, him and Coach Haynes, every day. And we do this baseline drive, baseline drift play. and. Uh, you know, for him to jump out of bounds and drive it and be able to find Dev in the opposite corner, uh, unreal. And then, you know, we drew up a play that we had two options. One was Dev and the other was Chris on the slip. And Derek, to be able to see, you know, that Chris was the guy open and not Dev, uh, you know, for him to do that after 39 minutes of trying to guard an, a really good guard. He's really good, Eric Washington. Uh, you know, what do you say? Just really proud of those guys. Really proud of those guys. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm going to say this. Like, you, you watch every time somebody came down, it looked like they were, you know, he tweaked his ankle, it looked like Ortiz. I thought he got shot there when he when he went down. Uh, Marquise early in the game, like, it looked like he might have twi twisted his ankle or something really early in the game. Just, you know what? I think these guys, uh, to their credit, you know, they just – tonight, they just refused to lose. Like, they just they, – they weren't going to let themselves lose. And uh, to see that being as shorthanded as we are, you know, you look around, and I, I, I watch all this stuff, but, you know, Wyoming played without two of their best players because uh, of Mono, and they lose by 23 to one of the last-place teams in the league. And, you know, it's hard. It's hard to win. <laughs> it's hard to win, period. And then you're playing with – you know, we have four double-figure scores, two of the, and, and we only play seven guys, basically, maybe eight guys. Uh, two of those guys aren't playing. Just to have these guys step up the way they did. And, uh, you know, Derek, obviously, to start the game was great, got us off to a phenomenal start, which was important. And then he cooled down or really couldn't get many shots off in the second half to see other guys, Marquise, offensive rebound, putbacks. And uh, Gary, defensively, he made a huge play late 
they had split a ball screen and Gary stunted at it and made the guy pass and then deflected it out of bounds. It would have been a dunk. We would have lost. Um, great play by him after, you know, not playing great, but uh, made a three-point play when we needed one late. Just all these guys. What, what, what a great job by all of them. Does that help with confidence? Um, your best player is not playing. You still got out a win. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know that these guys lack for confidence, but I, I do think Western Michigan playing, even though we lost, you know, had we lost by 20 uh, without Jimmy, you know, there might have been a, a like, oh, shoot, I don't know if we can win any games without him. There might have been that thought, like, it's hard to not think that. But the way we played out there, you know, we're, we're not as good as he is. I think he's, again, I think he's the best player in the league. Uh, you know, we can win without him, as we proved tonight. And, uh, you know, KB was suspended for the game. We could win without him. And we could win without both of them, which we showed. Uh, it just is a collective effort. That's that's what a that's what a team is about. How much different I mean, did you coach the game? I mean, I know you're trying to I mean, play some zone in the first half, but you're just trying to get. Yeah, just you know what? A lot of our offensive stuff. It's hard to run when uh, when we've got you know Marquise, Kalik, and you know we just got some combinations that we're not used to uh, with some things and making sure guys are where they need to be. Um, yeah, I don't know that we coached it much different. Uh, zone, you know, there were certain lineups that we knew we'd play zone, but that was more to try to save Dev and Derek than it was anything else. Like, I knew they were going to play, I mean, the whole game. They couldn't come out. So, uh, and then J-Boy went in, Johnny, and he, you know, like, it, I know it's only a minute, but – that was an important minute. We needed to get a, a rest for Derek, and he came in, and it's not like uh, we didn't turn it over. We got it in our offense. I mean, you know, that's what a team does. Guys have to help each other and pick each other up uh, when other guys are down. And uh, tonight, you know, I thought we did a great job uh, of exhibiting that. How about the defense late in the first half? Yeah, we just – yeah, we were trading baskets. And, and uh, you know, I was disappointed at halftime. and. And, uh, you know, sometimes you wonder how you got to handle a team, you know, when, when uh, things are going poorly. Sometimes you don't yell at them. Sometimes you do yell at them. But, uh, I, I mean, I was, I was disappointed in how we guarded in the first half. We were very content to let them get where they wanted to get on the floor. Uh, you know, they made some shots. Everybody does. But I thought their baskets were way too easy. Uh, in the first half and uh, in the second half, I thought Marquise really contested shots uh, at the rim. I thought we did a much better job. I don't know what the numbers. I know they didn't score as much, but uh, I thought we did a much, much better job of making it difficult for them to get where they wanted to get in the second half, especially uh, the last couple minutes of the game. And I thought our transition defense was significantly better in the second half. The first half, we we tally things differently than the than than these guys do, but we have it 17 to three in the first half transition points, um, and that's just that's just not our team. So uh, we tightened that up in the second half, even when we weren't scoring. I thought we tightened up our half court defense in the second half, even when we weren't scoring, and then we made just enough plays when we needed to make them to win. All right, hey, let me just really quick also make sure that I mentioned that the crowd, I think I said it, but the crowd was fantastic and really appreciate the efforts of everybody who, who's working to get people here and all the people that came. So just want to make sure I say that.